Hey y'all, so I just wanted to check in with y'all really quick. Budge. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me, but I just wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing to the gym. Nike Pro sports bra, green leggings for 21. Uh, I didn't tie my hair down today because I'm only doing legs, so I don't have to do any mat work. Yeah, I'm on my way to the gymmy. Can't wait. Um, give myself six weeks to get thick again. Stop playing with me. You heard it here first. Also, welcome back to a new vlog. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> hey, y'all. Anywho, so... I'm picking up with the vlogs and oh my gosh, I was almost about to show you my birthday dress, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait for that separate video because I am going to be filming a whole like, you know, birthday vlog, get ready with me, like prep, all that stuff. This is my first time doing it. I'm like, ah! but anywho, I picked up the camera because I'm looking at the new bag that I have to buy. Like, hold up y'all. Let me, let me show y'all some things. Let me catch y'all up. Well, I'll show y'all the birthday shoes just to be like, okay. So these are the birthday shoes, baby. These are some Tom Ford dupes. And these are so cute. And they're from Nine West. But girl, they are too small. Now, I am an eight, eight and a half in women's. But it really just depends, I guess, because... Now I think about it, a lot of my shoes as an eight and a half, like my heel be hanging out the back low key. So I'm gonna just stop playing myself and just go ahead and stick to a nine. But yeah, my heel was hanging off the back of that just a little bit too much for me. And I was trying to like force my foot down and that shit is hurting. So I'm like, let me just stop playing. Let me send these back. So I'm gonna take those back. And um, I got my birthday bag. And I know I said I was gonna save this for the video, but the only reason I'm gonna show y'all I'm not gonna take it out of this, but like, this is not the bag that I thought I was getting when I ordered this bag. Like, first of all, this is a tote bag, bitch. This is too big. And while I'm at it, I'll just show y'all the bag that I actually purchased off these people's website because, and it, it really pisses me off because this was going to be perfect for my dress, for the shoes. Y'all don't understand because everything else is so simple. I was really trying to do something. I was trying to go out with a bang for the bag. So the fact that this is literally the size of a grocery bag or something. And the crazy shit is the dimensions are on the website. I kept looking for it and I couldn't find it when I bought it. So obviously I just wasn't here mentally because it was actually on the website and it said it was a 16 inch bag. I didn't see that. Okay, so this is the bag that I thought I was getting. Y'all. Yeah. Tell me this bag is not so cute. Like, the colors, the pinks, the purples, the sequins, the silver. Are Like, are you dumb? Like, this was going to be so cute for my dress. And then just imagine it with the heels. Like, stop playing. Like, I would have been stepping. Like, seriously. And it's just so crazy to me because the screenshot of this on the website tell me this does not look like a small bag like this doesn't look like it's a tote bag to me like this looks like a petite small bag so i was just bewildered dumbfounded if you will because i was just like what the hell when i got this i opened up the thing and i was like what the hell is this because this is not what i was expecting at all so i just wanted to give y'all that little update so my whole plan for my birthday bag is ruined because i'm stuck on the pink now like i'm totally sold on like a pink bag so and i don't have any pink bags so i really want to get this pink bag now i'm not going to show you what the new bag is going to be because that would ruin the surprise of like the next videos to come but the bag that i'm settling on i think this is going to be the bag just because I wanted a bag to have some structure to it and some texture. This doesn't have as much texture as I would like. Like I wish it was more ruched, but there's some ruching to it. It's just not a lot of ruching, but I'm really in love with the shape of the bag. Like it's so cute. It's very on trend, but I think I'll be able to do like a little like this or I may still keep looking for a new bag because I feel like the bag is supposed to be the um, attraction, honestly. Like the dress is simple, but it still has some edge to it. And then the shoes are simple. But the bag is where I wanted people to be like, 
okay like she you feel me so i feel like i really want to go the route of like this bag that i'm looking at right now and then i also wanted to sorry i'm trying to figure this out because i'm like should i be leaving this in this vlog or should i be really dedicating this to a whole like i'm getting confused now i don't know how girls be doing this for real but um my other idea was possibly like an acrylic bag that's like a clutch that's like hard and it just it's cute so i may revisit that idea too but yeah i just wanted to give y'all a little update it is wednesday happy hump day to all of y'all and i'm about to skedaddle and um try to do some grocery shopping probably just vlog a little bit of something on my phone because girls girls like when i have to go grocery shopping during the week it just doesn't make sense to vlog this like y'all have been to the grocery store y'all have been with me for a minute y'all know what i'd be buying y'all know i go to like seven different grocery stores like y'all know what i'd be doing so i'm not gonna probably vlog that we'll see but um at some point i also gotta come back to y'all and rant about something because yesterday was a frenzy not gonna lie hello fresh might have to see me okay that's all i'm gonna say hey y'all i'm back home from my grocery shopping didn't vlog one bit i was just like in the motions but i just wanted to vlog or i just wanted to pick up ew i don't know where to put y'all because honestly i don't feel like getting my camera tripod but anyway this is a terrible angle i just wanted to quickly say that i just got a sign that yo i need to go ahead and start trying to pick up tech like try to do tech on a real real because after just getting back home i just like peeked in somebody's car as i was like walking into my home and i saw somebody have a security plus book like they're studying to get their probably yeah they're studying to get the security plus certificate and i'm like yo like i need to hurry up and do that that just reminded me like shit so i'm about to start i'm about to like look into that on a real real because tech is really where it's at to like have a stable income and like i don't see anything wrong with having a normal job like a nine to five at some point obviously i'm not gonna be working for somebody for the rest of my life but it just told me like hey you could go ahead and get that security plus too like somebody's doing it you could do it too that's all that encouraged me so i'm like ooh. also i just don't feel like cooking right now and like Oh my gosh, I have that one piece of ahi tuna left. So I'm gonna make that one piece of ahi tuna that I have because I don't feel like cooking. And I'm gonna make it and eat it with this little thing because this has 105 grams of carbohydrates. And bitch, I need that because I went to the gym today and I wouldn't say I had an intense leg day, but I definitely did some work. So I definitely should be compensating my body for it. Um, I really want to show y'all this really quick. This is my first time trying this like juice from Audi. It's called the Gold Fusion 100% juice. It's no concentrate, no preservatives. It's like a juice juice. So I'm about to just taste it really quick. That is really good. That is really nice. And it has 12 milligrams of vitamin C, 190 milligrams of potassium, and 52 milligrams of calcium so hopefully that's good and healthy but yeah just a little quick check in So 
coming to y'all live because I'm getting pissed off and I'm getting stressed out because the girl that I wanted to do my cake is just I'm sorry I don't want to talk badly about people because like I don't even know like I don't know if she's going to be able to fulfill my request or if she's going to be the one that actually does it because first of all I just feel like her communication is just not there like she keeps responding to me in one sentence emails and I have sent her like two paragraphs of information. She has not responded to the information that I'm like typing out to her and it's actually frustrating me because it's just like, it's just giving unprofessional. And I don't wanna say what I wanna say because I really just don't know what the circumstances are gonna be. And like, obviously if she makes my cake, I wanna share who did the cake and stuff. But we'll see we'll just see but right now i'm having a very bad experience i feel because on a real real i sent her a paragraph yesterday or two trying to figure some things out and then she just like i said she responded to me in one sentence responses and it's like she's not trying to find solutions like i'm very thorough when i respond to somebody and she's just not she's not even answering my question she just keeps adding statements on top of whatever she's saying and I'm just getting annoyed at this point so I'm just like ugh, I don't know what to do but I just wanted to share that because this is what's going on y'all also um I found a totally new bag idea that I'm gonna go with because I feel like a clutch would just be the best route for my outfit and like I wanted there to be a pop of color but I'm honestly just gonna give a monochromatic look and just let that be that. I'm not showing y'all nothing, y'all gotta wait for the vloggy vlog. But I figured out the bag. Now the bag that I was looking at, I'm still gonna get that bag because I feel like that's such a cute bag and like I feel like I could style that in the winter time so we're gonna see. But yeah, just a little update if you will. Hey y'all, uh, I'm on my way in the gym so I'm wearing an all black fit pretty much bandana little satin hair tie all my sets are from Forever 21 I really need to get some new ones because they're getting raggedy but <laughs> anyway yeah I'm on my way okay y'all I'm back from the gym wanted to just show my little glute pump I don't really know if y'all can really tell Ew. but she's got a little glue pump ah. wow she's so little again but that's okay that's okay i'm starving so i'm eating these like basically these are like a vegan goldfish that's what they look like and they're so good uh, they got like a cheddary taste when I first ate them, they was weird. I originally bought these for my nephew when he was over here and he really liked it. So I was like, hold on. These are actually not bad and they're healthy. So I got some. Not high in protein at all. One gram protein actually. High in carbs. But these are good. So I just was trying to put y'all on good baby food, but also good like little snack. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to, because I was telling y'all about HelloFresh and what and whoop woo so <laughs> I got a HelloFresh wadzer, not me being a HelloFresh vibe, so I've got a HelloFresh package, so um, I'm going to be cooking this meal for y'all a little bit later, but I just wanted to show y'all the box because... First of all, I'm really hungry right now. Oh, I forgot I have this food right here. So the meal that they sent me, like the meals that they sent me, they are like plant-based. So there's like no meat in here. And I'm like, I'm like starving, but they have like no. Oh, wow. This is not me be. Ah! What? I got the cards and everything. This actually looks really good. I wish I had some salmon, but oh my gosh, not me having this stuff in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then apparently this stuff can last in here for like 24 hours in this little box. That's cool as hell. But um, wow, they really have a lot of ice and stuff in here. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting that right back in. 
Y'all will see me make that a little late, uh, but I just wanted to show y'all what was going on here. But yeah, so I'm currently making my HelloFresh dinner. Please excuse my background right here. Like my kitchen is kind of a mess right now, but I'm trying to show y'all. So I took everything out of the package and it was already portioned off. So this is supposed to be two servings. So I am making the creamy mushroom cavatappi, like the vegetarian version. So again, this is the one I'm actually making. So it looks really good. They even have like some Parmesan cheese, so I can't wait. So right now, I already have my pot boiling with the water, so I'm just going to move these onions over and I'm just chopping up for the mushrooms. And I honestly cannot wait to eat this. I need to hurry up. I hope this cooks fast because my therapy session is coming up at 6.30 and it's, no, not 6.30, mine is at 6.45. Actually, let me make sure. Yeah, y'all, it starts at 6.45, so I only have 15 minutes. And um, honestly, I wouldn't mind this HelloFresh stuff because, like, bruh, the fact that this is already, like, halfway together for me because everything's already portioned, all the ingredients are here. Like, I don't have to go find this stuff at the grocery store. Like, baby, like, that's actually quite cool. Now, yesterday I was trying to tell y'all something was going on with HelloFresh because... I canceled my subscription because I realized that I felt like it was going to be a little bit too much for me um, when I was doing the math actually and so I canceled the subscription but in order for your meal to not have been charged because the other thing is I didn't even choose this meal like they pre-selected this meal for me but I tried to tell them like hey I canceled the order like you guys like refund me and they were like no we can't do that and I'm just like I didn't even pick this food the food that I was actually trying to pick had like shrimp and like fish and stuff but after i like was doing the math i was just like i don't know if this is gonna re really be i don't know if this is gonna really be affordable for me you feel me because at this point i really only grocery shop like once a, like once a weekend or maybe like once every two weekends anyway the point is they still ended up sending me the meals, and so after I realized they couldn't refund me, I was just like, okay, let me just see how this goes, but this is honestly so convenient. Like, I can totally see why people do this. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to be so careful, because yesterday when I was cooking, I cut myself, and it was pretty deep. Okay, so everything is sectioned off. Doing a little return, but yeah, 
yeah i wanted to show y'all like i got this letter from the united states census bureau as you can see Anywho, y'all can't even see me, but why does this thing says your response is required by law? Because it says because your household has been asked to participate on behalf of your community, it is vital that you complete the survey to meet critical needs in your area. Like, hmm? So if I don't do a survey, I'm going to be arrested. That's what they're saying right now. That's what they're saying. I don't know. Anywho, I'll do that later, but um, I dropped off my package to Nine West at the FedEx drop off and um, I cannot wait to get my other pair of shoes because y'all, those shoes are seriously so cute. Now they are a Tom Ford dupe and I don't got Tom Ford money, but I don't care because first of all, those don't even have the padlock. I don't care about a padlock. I just love the essence of like, the heel is like this metal part and then the rest of it's just like very sexy, very classy uh, stiletto with the little strap over the toe. Ugh, I just love heels like I actually think there's something wrong with me because y'all I'm literally like where's my phone I need to show y'all my phone because as I buy things or as I like cross stuff off here comes more things that I want to buy like hopefully y'all can see my just notice my camera is kind of like dirty but no like y'all there's like so many more things that I want to buy and I'm just trying to like I'm trying to tell myself to stop it because on a real real like buying clothes is cool but like clothes is actually expensive clothes expensive shoes are expensive and it's like all those hundred and fifty dollars and hundred dollars and stuff i'm buying i could really just put that money toward a trip and then have an experience so i really am trying to like stop it but y'all like i'm trying to get some new balances i'm trying to get some asics i'm trying to get bags i'm trying to get clothes like i have a shopping addiction I need help but on a real real <laughs> i'm really trying to stop like i told myself after september after the month of september like, i'm really trying to stop it because one of my friends told me that she's trying to do a destination trip so i'm really trying to be outside laid out on the beach you know getting a tan so yeah it's time to get serious and Oh my gosh, y'all, I totally forgot to also tell y'all how... Oh yeah, I told y'all in the last vlog how I'm trying to buckle down, y'all. I did not play. Like, my Capricorn Rising did not disappoint me. She said, you said you have goals. Let's get these goals met. Let's focus. Because, y'all, like, I really have not been on social media like that. Like, I haven't tweeted something in, like, a week probably at this point. I briefly will get on Instagram briefly but I'm not really on there doing anything I like going on Instagram to see what my archive post of the year was like a year ago I like to see like whether I post or like what was I doing a year ago so I just go on there to like check stuff like that like I'm not really using Instagram for anything and it feels great like this morning when I was driving home from the gym I was just like wow like Social media is literally fake because when you're not on it, like, you can actually be in your real life. Like, I know this is not, like, groundbreaking stuff I'm saying, but it's just, like, some of us are... I don't want to call myself a slave to my phone. Like, I wouldn't go that far to say I'm a slave to my phone. But I will say, and I can be honest, that I have used my phone excessively. Kind of, in a way, like, vicariously living through people. Because, like, social media is another way you can live through people. Like, you can see people living their life. And it takes away from you actually living your life. So, oh my gosh, I actually feel so much more centered and grounded and more present. I feel like I'm at a point where, I don't know if I'm at that point, but I kind of want to experiment with like not even taking my phone out with me in public. I don't know, it could be also dangerous because like you should definitely have your phone on you. But I'm just like tempted to see like it will just force me to really like engage in my surroundings because I'm not going to hold you having a phone on you like out in public trying to be social sometimes like sometimes I just naturally like pick my phone up so I look like I'm doing something something to have just my hands on you know just feeling fiddling around just trying to like make myself feel occupied because I also noticed in my lack of using my social media that I really use it as a distraction for what my present life is like instead of just like sitting with my thoughts or something I would be mindlessly scrolling through reading everybody else's thoughts and opinions on stuff that you know I may or may not agree with but now I just feel so much more centered, baby. Lighting probably not the best, but yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update on that. Like, I'm not really on social media currently now. 
I'm kind of torn because like of course you know social media is a job it's it's the job I'm trying to do low-key because like I just want to get paid to be myself and like you know connect with people and just like I don't know I really just feel like my purpose in life is really just connection like I literally just strive to connect with people on so many different topics may it be mental health dating being black um, traveling, being into fashion and clothing and styling. I just feel like my purpose was to connect with people. All I'm trying to say is like the whole not really using social media as much as like I can't really post stuff but it's like I don't really have anything to post beside my vlogs anyway. Like YouTube is still a version of social media and I just feel like I'm just gonna focus on my YouTube channel itself anyway because my goal for myself is to hit 200 subscribers before the end of this year so I really feel like I can make that happen that's only 49 more people and I don't want to get obsessed with like checking you know how many subscribers I have but I feel like my channel really is slowly growing and like this is what a year of consistency looks like so if I just continue on this like the world is my oyster who knows what opportunities lie ahead for me just by being consistent on youtube now i do love making tiktok content i have plenty of tiktok content i need to film actually like there's so many unboxings and like products i want to show y'all that i bought that i'm just like in love with um that i already showed y'all on my youtube channel i just haven't put on my tiktok because i really am into like curation and like you know design in terms of like visuals and that kind of thing so i definitely need to like film those videos for tiktok and then of course on my instagram i love getting cute and dressing up and going out to eat eating great food you know socializing looking bomb as hell and obviously getting a good picture and posting that but it's just like right now i'm focusing on youtube really and i will be posting on instagram soon too like i plan on because y'all, I've been at the gym this week. That's another thing. I haven't even been showing y'all. I've been going to the gym. I've been consistent this week. I've gotten up at 4.45 a.m. every morning. Actually, yesterday my phone wasn't turning on. And I, I literally woke up right on time still. So, like, I was so proud of myself. I was consistent at the gym. And I'm just getting back into having a routine. Because for me, y'all, I'm a Capricorn rising. I'm a Virgo sun. I have a lot of earth placements. I think I have two water placements and the rest. I just have one air placement. But basically, I'm very earthed out. And so I'm very grounded as a person. I need a routine. I love a routine. And not saying I never was having my routine. It's just like I just fell off from being more consistent because I was just listening to my body because I felt tired and stuff. But now I'm like, F that. I'm getting back into having a strong routine and just really doing everything as it's written for me in my list because I be getting shit done when I actually follow and cross things off my list. If I don't have a list, I don't even know. To tell you the truth, I don't. So, I'm going to just get back into sticking to my routines, having my routines, because, yo, like, I just feel like something's great about to come my way. Something great is happening for me. Like, I feel it bubbling and boiling and growing. And I just, I'm just trying to get to that point. So, that's all I'm saying. Just a little catch up. Me talking for 10 minutes, looking absolutely insane. But hopefully, y'all was able to grasp the content and the words. Ugh, I wish I looked cuter, but okay. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna be running errands, but I was like, let me just try to look more put together than I normally look. So I'm wearing this black, you know, polo bodysuit from Zara. I'm wearing these Zara pants again. Y'all literally saw me just wear these. I do not care. I'm gonna be wearing these pants a lot. I need to actually get some other styles of these type of trouser type pants. You know, definitely like a wide leg. These are cropped, but these literally get the job done, shapes the body. Um, I have no complaints. I look good. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing to go run errands. Um, I'm wearing absolutely no makeup. All I did was like brush my eyebrows, try to do my baby hairs. They always look a mess. But yeah, natural face. Get into the skin, y'all. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. That 10% benzoyl peroxide is the truth. Plus the um, CeraVe. CeraVe and the Panoxyl sisters tap in sisters like if you struggle with acne get you some of those seriously i've been mixing the cerave and the panoxyl facial washes together just because the panoxyl on its own it's like a creamy texture it doesn't really foam up and i don't not say i don't like it but i like when it foams because to me that makes me feel like i'm doing something so i mix them two together and it foams up and i you know wash until it's like faded off it's been doing what it needs to do like my skin is very clear i still have hyperpigmentation of course but like overall i haven't really been breaking out much so thank you anyways i'm gonna be 
you know, do my little grocery shopping. Not vlogging that. Might show y'all where I'm at, but I'm trying to get in and out really quick. You feel me? But yeah, happy Saturday, y'all. So totally forgot to tell y'all I was doing a drop off at the post office for the bag that I had ordered. So yeah, I'm screaming. <laughs> um why did the um why did the worker ask me if i had a hot date or if i was going to brunch see what happens when you actually put yourself together like the world can see you baby anyways <laughs> like i was saying the guy was like do you have a hot date are you going to brunch and i'm literally so awkward like i went in there because i see him all the time when i'm doing drop-offs like returns and stuff and you know, I'm literally just so awkward when it comes to guys in real life. Like, I really am so awkward. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I'm back from the grocery store. So, I'm going to just, you know, show y'all what I got. So, we'll just call this, like, a healthy grocery store haul because I'm not playing with y'all. A lot of this stuff is literally just stuff to cook. Like, I literally never have, like, snack things. I always just have stuff to cook. So, let me show you what I got. So, I picked up this Alaska Wild Caught Cod from Trader Joe's. It was $10.55. So, it's already frozen. And I'm just hoping that... What is this? Okay. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, so I'm just hoping I'll be able to cook this and get protein from it because y'all know I'm a pescatarian. Also from Trader Joe's, I got a small bag of sweet potatoes. I'm gonna just try to like make sure I start doing these. Um, I'm planning on making a lot of grain bowls for my lunch and stuff like that. So I'll be like, you know, taking two to roast for like that type of stuff or even for dinner. I also picked up a bag of just organic potatoes because every time i get and i'm about to show y'all every time i get the trader joe's brand of potatoes like i feel like i should just throw my money away like like i don't know if y'all can see that but those are spoiled potatoes like they're all wrinkly they look old they look super old wrinkly spotted up like every time i buy these potatoes i just feel like i should have just withdrew a five dollar bill and just ripped it up or just threw it away because that's what i feel like when i buy those potatoes like they literally just go bad so fast i don't get it next I got some organic tahini now this is my third time buying this and the two other times I bought it <laughs> I always just return it but like this is actually really high in protein and it's like actually very healthy you add it to like your grain bowls or whatever because this is a lot of basis for like Mediterranean stuff like the sauces that they'd be putting in your food so I just decided to get it again and I bought a lemon so that I'll be able to like maybe try to make my own like lemon tahini sauce so I have a lemon and I'm just trying to be healthier and I'm trying to like make sure I'm eating enough because I know that's literally my struggle like I just don't be eating enough food I might want to lower this I just feel like I never eat enough food so I'm trying to eat things that are like plant-based but healthy and they have a lot of you know high nutrient value that's my goal for myself I want to eat clean and feel good as I but I also want to like you know bulk I don't know if this stuff is gonna give me bulk, but like, I just wanna make sure I'm at least eating healthy. You feel me? So, I also got a bag of organic spinach. My plan is to saute these, have them be in the fridge, and I can just add it to my green bowls or like a little side for my, um, you know, dinner because for some reason Trader Joe's has no broccoli. So, I just needed to get like another green. And then I also got an eggplant. So eggplants are supposed to be super healthy. They're supposed to have like a meaty texture. So I decided to get one to try to, you know, roast with the peppers that I bought so that I could, you know, try to eat plant-based, healthy, all that. And then moving on, I also went to Mom's Organic Market. So I got some peppers to roast. Um, I also picked up two organic gmo free gluten free um tofu firm now tofu i always feel a little iffy eating because i've heard some things about soy and that's where tofu comes from you feel me but i just decided like i'm gonna try to make one of these meals that my mom used to cook 
so that's why i bought this she used to make this with like soy sauce rice beans vegetables so that's my plan and those can also go in grain bowls i'm trying to eat a lot of grain bowls i also got just two tomatoes um i don't know what it is but i'm always like really wasting produce so i'm just gonna like buy one like enough for like a week's worth of stuff because i always end up wasting produce like the amount of bags of salads and potatoes and just produce that i've wasted like i wish i could get that money back low-key i'm just like wow what the anyway moving on i got one golden kiwi y'all these are so good i literally love it like haven't even been eating regular kiwi ever since i got hip to those and then mom's organic market is so cool today i found out they have like their own station where you can get like plant-based laundry detergent and like skincare facial products where you like pump it out and like you can take it with you like they're so cool but they also have an area where you can just get like you know seasonings like dried seasonings so i just decided to get some more black pepper how much was this compared to buying black pepper did they not charge okay so the this was only 152 and like i don't even be going through this that fast so this is great like 152 for like i don't even know it probably wasn't even an ounce oh it was point i don't even know but that's not bad so y'all know i'm still trying to you know get thick and all that so i'm just gonna be sticking to these organ um organ if y'all want to sponsor me please please go ahead and sponsor your girl i've been showing y'all these for a couple months now and i've been showing y'all organs protein powder since i've been vlogging so at this point organ can you get a girl a sponsorship like seriously but anywho yeah i got the plant-based chocolate protein milk so this keeps me in check because what i'm about to share with y'all is i'm no longer buying silks protein milks like this stuff i don't know what they've done but like this stuff is so disgusting to me now like i think i'm just sick from it i literally can't drink this stuff anymore and also it's just not healthy like there's a lot of like additives in here that have no use for your body i feel so it's like i'm not drinking this stuff anymore like i'm over it and so instead of buying you know those protein milks i will say i picked up this uh khalifa farms extra creamy oat milk it has two grams of protein which is not very much it only has 12 grams of carbohydrates which isn't very much either but like i'm just overeating like excessively processed things if i can avoid buying it i'm not gonna buy it but the only reason i bought this is because i do need to make smoothies with my um with my protein powder and i had a gift card for safeway so i was like i'll just pick this up and it has two grams of protein so i'll just pick this up and use it and drink it and finish it but i won't be buying this any longer either let me show y'all what i've transitioned on to i'm officially just gonna be a simple ass girl so i'm using forager project organic cashew milk literally the ingredients are just those ingredients like it doesn't get any better than that literally filtered water cashews gluten-free oats sea salt and that's literally it like that's how simple ingredients need to be on stuff so i got two of these now those are expensive as fuck i'm not gonna lie to you those are expensive these are only 48 ounces for seven dollars basically like i'm not getting a lot of bang for my buck but i've already started using this and while my smoothies aren't very like smoothie like textured and thick and all of that i just feel like internally happier like i just feel like it's just very simple and it doesn't taste bad it tastes fine and i'm still getting my protein so that's what i'm just like whatever oh by the way i got those from whole foods i forgot to even um i literally forgot to even i'm, I'm getting all over the place because i'm still i still have stuff from safeway to show y'all so i know i just told you i'm not buying silk products anymore but again i had a gift card so i was like let me just use it so i got so i got some um yogurts i used to eat these and i used to love these and then last but not least i only got a couple more things from whole foods so i got some more guacamole that i've been showing y'all i love their guacamole a lot um i also got two organic avocados because i'm trying to eat avocados again avocados are really healthy for you and i love putting them in everything i eat so great and then last but not least i decided to try some artichokes so 
when I had my therapist session with my therapist on Thursday, she was telling me, because my therapist is actually a vegan, she was like, she makes a lot of artichoke sandwiches, and I was like, I've never even tasted, I mean, never mind, I've tasted artichokes and artichoke dip, but I feel like that's about it, and I was just curious to know how it would taste in a sandwich, so I got those, I'm playing on roasting those peppers, and we'll just see what we do, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I got, and I feel like I've just been talking so fast, like, Oh my god. <laughs> but last but not least, y'all, I literally feel so cute. Like, I did not feel ugly or busted. I'm gonna literally just start going out in public looking my best so I can feel my best when I'm out that way. If I ever see a man who's attractive, I don't have to feel like, oh my gosh, please don't even look at me. Please don't try to talk to me. Because then, today, like, I didn't even really see a lot of guys, to be honest with you. Like, I just came from Trader Joe's. Me and this guy made eye contact and he was so cute, but he also gave like dad vibes, but he was really fine. So I don't know. He actually said hi. So <laughs> when I tell y'all like, like the way that man was built, that's like, oh, like I love when a man is built like a man, like he was built balanced. Like he didn't have just, he didn't have skinny legs and big arms. He was, he had nice legs, nice arms just built nice i don't even really remember what he looked like in the face but he was very attractive um definitely older than me but still fine as hell and i do like men older than me to be honest with you i mean i wouldn't go older than 34 but he looked great honestly but um in general because i was telling out earlier because when i stopped at the post office you know there's this man that works there who i always see and he's all right I'm so awkward in real life, like in public sometimes. People might think there was something wrong with me. I'm probably making it sound worse than it is. Like, I don't know. I live in my body, so I don't really know how I come off to people. But I be feeling so awkward sometimes. <laughs> literally, I be feeling so awkward. So when he was like talking to me, he kept smiling at me and all this other stuff. I literally just got so awkward and I started smiling and it's like I literally smile when I'm uncomfortable so people might think like oh she's just smiling because she feels good and she's happy I'm smiling because I feel weird right now and he wasn't even making me uncomfortable I was just like oh my gosh like what's wrong with me like I don't know I hate that but I looked so cute today it was definitely giving body like y'all already know what these pants look like on me so I don't even have to do too much but like I felt really cute and that's what we're on like I'm gonna have to get every color in these pants because y'all like showstopper bodies goes crazy like it makes my ass look so good I cannot lie to you but enough chat I've got to go <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just wanted to show y'all what I made for my dinner. So I already have my like rice and quinoa already cooked. So I'm just cutting up some cucumbers on the side because this is supposed to be kind of like Mediterranean inspired. My camera is going to die soon so I'm trying to be really fast. Next I'm adding these roasted eggplant and pepper off to the side. I also have some sweet potatoes that I want to put in here for some extra carbs and stuff. So I'm going to put that here. Last but not least, I have some tahini. I seasoned it with some other stuff, but it has some lemon juice and just like paprika, black pepper, salt, that kind of stuff. And this is high in protein, so this is supposed to be really healthy. And then last but not least, I do have some tzatziki from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to also add some of this to it as well. And I'm just going to put like a scoop on the side there. And that's going to be my dinner. Get into it. Hey y'all, it's me again. Uh, sorry, I was just almost about to start crying because... I just briefly got on TikTok and the first video that was on my For You page was very on brand for what I literally spoke about in my last vlog or maybe it was this vlog, I literally don't remember. I think I was either talking about doing things differently or something about my goals and like needing to really focus and woo -woo. but anyway, I just wanted to outro the vlog. My apologies that this vlog is getting uploaded 
on a Tuesday when it should have been uploaded yesterday. But okay, so check this out. So I was up all, all the first half of Sunday, like from the morning to about 2 p.m. ish. And I was editing the vlog. But for some reason, my external hard drive started acting a fool. And then it was talking about it's full. I knew my external hard drive was not full because I deleted things. Plus, there's no way it's full. It has 500 gigabytes, like, please. So I, you know, decided to close my computer, like restart it a couple times just to kind of like reset things. Okay, just to kind of like reset things. And then when I went back into iMovie, y'all, when I tell you, the video was absolutely non-existent. I was like, there's no fucking way. Like, there's no way. And, you know, old me, I would have been bawling, crying, throwing up, actually. <laughs> but I was literally just like too pissed to really react. I was just like, I can't believe this shit. Like, I can't. It was especially upsetting because I only had 15 minutes left to edit. So at that point, I was like, fine. And then I also had to re-import some things into the video. So I was like, fine, I re-imported everything, but I was like, I cannot work on this today. So what I did was, you know, I worked on it yesterday and today, so hopefully I can get it up today. But yeah, I just wanted to explain to y'all what happened because y'all know I'm trying to be on my shit. Like I am not playing games. Like like the rest of 2023, like I got her by her tresses. Like I'm not letting go. Like we, we doing this for real. So I just wanted to let y'all know what was tea, but I'm gonna be ending it here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm so grateful and so appreciative of everybody that's tuning into my journey and my uh, YouTube videos. I don't know some of y'all, but some of y'all do know who I am. So, hi, welcome, hearts to all of you. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the vlog. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be seeing y'all in my next vlog. Bye.